Hey guys, welcome to another episode about MQTT. And today we are going to deal with one problem that is quite common if you are using certificates, especially self-signed certificates on your local broker. This problem could happen both with MQTT client's applications and from programming code. So it doesn't matter whether you are using MQTT Explorer or you are trying to access your uh, local MQTT broker uh, from Apache and Python. So what could happen? Either data in your certificate is not entered properly and you could easily solve that by uh, adding a few more options in your uh, certificate request signing. So for example, what you can do, you can use open SSL rec new out and now you are going to add two additional options aside your output and your key and those options are subject and subject alt name so if you provide your data in this way later on you are not going to be asked to type this data again and in this way i set both my subject alt name to my uh, local ip and my common name to my local ip and second reason why this could happen it's uh, because every mqtt client is going to ask for a certificate validation and with this option is set to true with self-signed certificate and local broker your communication is going to break and why is that? Because client is trying to verify those certificates. And of course you cannot do that. So the only way to establish communication in that case is to prevent your client from asking for verification. So in this case uh, with uh, MQTT Explorer, first thing that I have to do, I have to provide uh, my certificate. And uh, this is uh, my uh, certificate authority certificate that I use to sign my local broker certificate. But now, if I let everything like this, so uh, with uh, validate certificate option turned on, if I try to connect, of course, I'm going to get this error. So the easiest way to solve this problem is to uncheck this option. And now if I try to connect, of course, I'm in. And you don't have to worry about encryption in this case. I'm going to prove that uh, with uh, Wireshark. Okay, I'm going to start again with scanning for uh, address of uh, 192.168.0.24 so my local uh, address and i'm going to publish some message to a secret topic okay how are you just simple message i want to show you that encryption works okay let's see what we have you see that every single piece of data it's encrypted let's try once again let's go with bunch of zeros like this publish once again let's see what we have of course everything is encrypted so guys i hope that you have learned something interesting so please like subscribe and see ya